Draymond would be a little tougher than most, but Draymond couldn't guard Barkley. Nobody really could guard Barkley one-on-one. He couldn't just handle the ball and shoot the ball. He was incredibly powerful. And back in the day, if, if, if there's a case to be made about Draymond, is that back in the day, you could get away with being more physical than you can right now. So you could hack a guy a little bit. You could slap him up a little bit, and that might have an effect. Against most players, that would work. Against Barkley, the round mount and rebound, as powerful as he was, that would not have worked. Um, he would not have been able to, uh, Draymond would not have been able to guard Barkley. Barkley would have averaged 25 against him just like he did against anybody else. Um, look, this is the way the NBA is, the way the rules have always been enforced. One on one, the good offensive player beats the good defensive player most of the time. That, so Barkley is right, because that's really the thrust of what he's saying is look, even if you get a really good defender on me, it's not like he's going to win that matchup. He's just going to make it tougher on me. But that's exactly what Draymond would do. Draymond would make it tougher on Barkley, just as the elite defenders did in the 80s and 90s, than someone else would. And so it would make Barkley less efficient than he would otherwise be. And that's a good thing for the team who has Draymond Green. Draymond's quick enough to cut off driving lanes. He's tall enough to defend Barkley in the post. Barkley's stronger than Draymond, probably push him around a little bit, as Stephen A. just pointed out, especially the way the rules were enforced back then. So, so does Draymond Green give you a better chance of beating a Charles Barkley team? Yes. Yes, he makes Barkley work harder on the offensive end to probably get less than he otherwise would have. And, 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 and certainly makes him work harder on the defensive end, Draymond, and, and can draw him out and do all kinds of stuff. So, so Draymond's right. He's tough on anyone. And Barkley's right. You ain't stopping him. You ain't shutting him down. Um, so that's just the way it is, and it's always been that way in the NBA, with the possible exception of a guy like Bill Russell. Bill Russell is, you know, and maybe one or two other guys where you say their defense was so extraordinary that, that they could actually shut down a great offensive player. But it's not like he was going to shut down Wilt Chamberlain. When you looked at the stats, Wilt still had really good stats, just not as good as he would otherwise have and, and not as efficiently as he'd otherwise have it.